Hi guys, uh, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to use the D-Force in the BC Nun outfit. Uh, I released this a couple, of, a few days ago and uh, I thought I'd make a quick tutorial video on how I set up uh, my figures with their uh, different shapes, mainly in the, the breast area, on how to use the D-Force for the leotard part. Uh, and the jacket. The jacket is uh, pretty much a timeline simulation, so that's going to be pretty simple if you watch my other videos on timeline simulation. But specifically, I'm just going to focus on the leotard part because this was a pretty tricky part for me to uh, build and put together to make work on different figure shapes. So let me get into it. Um, okay, here's the uh, leotard and uh, this is only going to work if you use fit control, so you must apply fit control on the uh, on the outfit. So if you don't have fit control, uh, it's going to be a tough tough game to make it look good on uh, bigger bodies like uh, my Winona character here. So I'm I'm going to show you. Let me reset this real quick. Uh, zero figure shape. All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, fix. Well, not so much fix, but make it look better. Because you see how it's eating up in there, and this is something that's usually annoying to me when it comes to clothes and characters with big breasts or different body shapes. So uh, first, let me go back to the product itself. So I can have the jacket ready after I'm done with this. So just the product here. And this is the leotard. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a single frame simulation for this to actually work on characters with bigger breasts. Because as you can see in the starter, it's already fine for the starter shape. But once you get bigger, like my Winona character here, you're going to get this eating in underneath here, which is annoying to me I don't know if it's annoying to anybody else but it's annoying to me and I've gone over this with my uh, fit control video and uh, my other d-force videos so this is going to be a combination of fit control and d-force so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go into my fit control settings and it's not going to be a lot of settings because it's not there's nothing to deal with in the middle because she has a big opening in the middle it's mainly just going to be underneath so I don't have to deal with center depth and uh, center smoothing and center width and all that stuff. I'm just going to deal with the under heights and the under smoother. So I'm just going to bring this down. What I'm trying to do here is D-Force is going to fix most of the other stuff. But I'm trying to get this part here off of underneath the body, underneath the breast. Because if it's in the breast, when you D-Force it, it's going to get stuck there. So you mainly want to move this down out so it has places to simulate out of and uh, I'm just gonna smoothen it up a little bit so I'm gonna do a slight under height but mainly under smoother so I'm gonna play with the under smoother just bring this down a little more you see how it's clipping there uh, that might be an issue but it's not so much of issue outside here mainly an issue over here because it's only this part I'm concerned about so I adjusted the under lower, a little bit of the under height, and the under smoother. So now I'm going to go to my simulation settings. And in the simulation settings, all I did was I set an initialization time to 25, uh, post transition time to 25, because I don't want it to take too long. The longer you, the longer you do it, it's the longer it's going to take to finish. So you don't really have to do anything else. You don't really have to worry about stabilization time because it's not going to take that long. And you're just going to hit simulate. And it's going to tighten on itself and it's just going to straighten out a little bit. And that's pretty much all I did. So now it has a little bit of pull here and a pull there. And it's not 
eating in underneath her breasts like it was originally doing. So pretty much what you're going to be doing is just adjusting the under height and the, uh, the under smoother and um, simulating it in a single frame simulation. Go to chest. Uh, I usually like to uh, add a little depth adjust. Whoops. So my hard drive is spinning. Okay, uh, do a little depth adjust. Um, move it down a little bit. Uh, let me simulate that again. Ooh, you see how it jumped up underneath there? But it was still had room to move out, so it's not getting stuck too much. Cancel that. You see how it's like stuck in there and then it comes down? That's because most of it is still stuck underneath there. So what I probably could have done there was... Uh, yeah, you see how tied up it is after I move the breast down? It's tied up. I'll have to go back into the leotard and uh, go to fit control and just bring this down a little more. Just that a little bit. Probably even do that. Just to get it out from underneath there. You see, uh, yeah, you see the more it's clipping on this end right here is the more wear is going to stick. So like I said, it, I don't mind this part sticking to the breast. It's really just this part. So I'm just going to simulate it. See, I don't mind this part sticking because this part is going to be hidden in the jacket anyway most of the time. So it's not really that serious in my opinion. So let this simulate. And then I'm going to show you what to do with the jacket next. Because as you can see, I have a timeline simulation here. And I simulated on this timeline because this is where the morph appears. Because in the next step, I'm going to do the jacket at the same time. So after I get the uh, simulation the way I want it for the, the leotard or whatever, I'm going to go to uh, simulation. And I'm going to freeze the simulation. After I freeze the simulation, I can make some adjustments. Because as you can see, these pouches here are, are kind of sticking in. So I'm going to select the pouch nodes and just bring it out a little bit. Just bring it out a little bit. Tap. Yeah, just bring it out. So it's not just eating into her body like that. Well, it's up to you if, if you want to do that or not. Oops, I didn't want to do a pouch. I want to do the node. You can do the pouch, but I'd rather do the node. Go back. Just bring out the node itself to select the node. And just push that out. Do the same thing. You can rotate it to wherever you want. Do any rotations you want with it. Well, let's get to the jacket. So now that I have the uh, the leotard simulated to the way I want it to be, and I froze the simulation so it doesn't be it, it won't be affected by the next simulation I'm about to do. I'm going to load the jacket. Load the jacket. Just load the jacket. So now this part here is the annoying part with the jacket. So this is a this is going to be um a timeline simulation to solve that. So you got to go back to this frame 0 and uh in the simulation settings well, you should create your own simulation settings, but I just go to current frame. I use it anim animated, and I'm going to animate to the 30 frames. And uh, I'm going to start from the memorized pose position. And I'm just going to uh, simulate. Uh, most of the simulation is going to occur at the bottom part. This is actually a separate surface. So the bottom part is going to simulate itself. And the top part is going to have some rigidity in the uh, in the breast part. You could adjust that yourself. I'll, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So just let the simulation go through. Actually, it passed the 
full friggin' morph, so you can stop it anytime you want, but I'm gonna let it go through, so I want the bottom part of the uh, jacket to uh, settle itself. While that's doing that, let me open up a page real quick. Where is it? Okay, um, let me go back here. So here's some videos that I recommend you watch in order to uh, get the full advantage of this the suit. Uh, you want to watch this. This is pretty good. This is going to work for anybody who has uh, busty figure characters. This will work too, but it's mainly this one. These two you're going to want to watch. Because what you're going to want to do is with the leotard, when you have your figure uh, single frame simulation completed, you're going to want to export a morph and then make that morph specifically for your figure character so you don't have to always simulate onto that one figure every time you want to do anything. So you're going to want to watch this video here. This is going to be a very important video for you to watch. But this is another one that's going to be good for the uh, defrost part. Because the defrost part uh, is going to be needed for the busty brass. So you want to use the fit control. So this is a, a good one to, uh, to, uh, to watch. Uh, if, you if you're ever going to have your character take a seat, this one over here is going to be a one that you're going to want to watch as well. So these three I recommend you watching. You could also watch, like I said, the JR update. JR dress update. Because that's going to be helpful. But most of this is already covered in these two here. But the JR update will have a, a good detail of simulation settings that, uh, that are useful for when you're using uh, full figure characters and so forth. So let's go back and check the... Uh, defaults of the jacket so as you can see the jacket kind of still pulls out there but it still fits it fits pretty good if you want it to be more uh, I guess looser you're gonna want to go to the jacket go to the surfaces this is the top part of the jacket here just like this yeah this is the top part of the jacket here and you're gonna want to go to simulation settings and you're gonna want to probably increase the dynamic strength to probably like 70 or 85 depending on how you want to do it but I prefer it at 50 because I wanted to the jacket the top part to, to keep its shape so the bottom part will be the only part that's doing all the um, all the action and the uh, bottom part also has the option to after you simulate it you could uh, pose it as well This part here of the jacket, you're going to have to use fit control to fix any poke trues here. So just use a fit control for that. You could use a loose and rear or whatever. But as you can see, even after you simulate it, you could uh, still pose it after the fact. So that's all I really wanted to show you guys on um, how to use the, uh, the new BC Nun Outfit. So if you have any trouble trying to come up with um, render ideas or posing for the the outfits, those are the settings that I use in order to uh, simulate it on my character shapes outside of the starter figure. If you're just using a starter figure, you would have very little problems with it. And if you have any figure that has a starter figure shape, you're not going to really need to worry about this video. But if you have any figure shapes similar to my character Talia here, or margarita hair you're gonna wanna um or ira hair you're gonna wanna um follow those instructions that i just showed you so i hope that would be helpful to you guys and uh let me know if you have any uh any other questions or any if you need help with anything else just leave it in the comments and i'll try try to make some more videos on um using das so take care